So it's Chris, right? Yeah. So I'm riding Chris, Kevin. Kevin. So I'm riding Chris's uh, souped up Suron with a BAC 8000, 72 volt battery, which actually fits in the case here, which is badass. I just did a video where a guy has extensions, like metal extenders that extend this up to carry the 72 volt. It's gonna volt. have to, the, the one I have, the, it comes up to okay, about yeah, here yeah, and yeah. it's gonna have these steel bolts that come up and it'll clip down. Oh, well, so yeah, it comes with a built-in. So okay, yeah, okay, that's I just have cool. to have a customized. And so he's yeah. got like the ability to have 18,000 watts running through this, but you have 9,000 right now? Yeah, I turned it down to nine. Wow. I mean, I don't ride it at more than that. The torque on this already though, fuck. Oh, oh my God, people. This thing is like a torque beast. It's almost scary. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is the most powerful bike I've ever ridden. Electric bike, anyway. Jesus Christ. My God, you gotta like lean forward. Oh my God, people. This thing is nuts. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. This is almost scary. Like breathtakingly fast, you know? Oh my God. Holy shit, dude. And he's got it only dialed to 9,000 watts. This thing goes to 18,000. Are you kidding me? I thought my bike was fast. This is like scary fast. Like you could so easily just blow this thing out from under you, you know? If you gun it, this thing's just gonna take off. Whiskey throttle all the way. But I like how he's got the extended handlebar, so it's up higher. It's here at a higher uh, sitting position, which is nice, more upright. And uh, yeah, this is just a freaking beast. And he's got like the controller down here where you can like adjust the power output and everything like right here, with the torque and all that. That's really sweet. So BAC 8000, I've heard of people with a 4000, never with an 8000. This thing's a beast. Fuck. So I changed my sprocket to 54. I used to have an 80 tooth sprocket and I could pull wheelies go, you know, going downhill. Uh, very fast like I mean it was crazy and then I put a 30 tooth sprocket in there and I can hit 88 miles an hour with that thing That's how fast it is Dude this thing it's almost it's like breathtaking like The power have you ridden it? And that's only uh, 9,000 I can double the power and it's, it's <sighs> ridiculous like you, what it is is you can't kick the wheel on the ground Especially if you're yeah. out of street. Oh, you have to like lean forward. Dude I've different. never so I've ridden, oh, hold on. I've, I've owned 13 motorcycles. I've ridden 42 electric bikes. I've never felt power like that. I know. I've never felt power like that. Mine's got very it's snappy. It's snappy. And that's I, one thing I kind of like and don't like about it. I wish it wasn't as snappy. But I. Well, I you could dial it down more, can't you? I can't control throttle response. Oh. That's something that's like really technical. Huh. You almost have to go to a wire throttle rather than an electric throttle. Or have a, something like a domino electric throttle. So you're not like a tech guy? I don't like with not really. yeah. and controllers or anything. I can, I'm a mechanical kind of oh, guy. Okay. I can build and destroy and tear apart and Oh, rebuild. there you go. It's way easier than mine. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Yours is stock, right? Oh, yeah. Dude, that is literally the most powerful electric, you, you could call it electric, but it's an electric motorcycle, really. Yeah. Yeah. Most powerful bike I've ever ridden. That's There's fucking a, have nuts. Have you seen the one that calipers in the back, so I got Saronster a foot did. brake and a handbrake on it? Sure. Yeah, for sure. But So you've already put, so you bought it for four, let's say. You already put a 2,000 watt or 2,000 dollar battery in it and a 2000 hour controller so you're at like eight now and you're gonna put another three in yeah, maybe maybe are you gonna be able to sell this then uh i don't i plan on using it as a spare oh. so. that's why i have this big rack back here i'm gonna i can bolt batteries to it and stuff um and then i don't have to worry about it you know what part of the problem is with this bike with the power you have it's very light it is very light it is very difficult I'm, I can't tell you enough. I have motorcycle background. Going up a mountain, you got the weight of the bike to. You got to like lean forward this almost. This one you have to like sit yeah. and get the tire to grip when you're going yeah. up a mountain. I bet. You don't, I don't even weigh enough, and the bike doesn't weigh enough. I so bet. It is something you just got to get used to, you know. But mountain bikes are even worse, you know. Oh yeah. This can at least can get me. I've never been anywhere I can't go. Oh my god. I've gone. Everywhere. I haven't been anywhere I can't go. Yeah. This thing is way more powerful. Like. I yeah. turn it down. I, like I'm, I've got it to the point where I can handle 9,000 very comfortably. When I'm doing like technical trails going less than 10 miles an hour, I'll turn it down to 3,000. Like, and I'm yeah. like, it's more like a smooth acceleration. Yeah, that'd be neat. Like, yeah, like that's almost stock. You know, it, it, yeah, exactly. It's, but it's even Whoa, then, it's still slightly ruined. What was I stock. using? What was this? Just, is this just the same thing? I switched. Your front brake is your right brake. Yeah. Mine's different. Mine's my my my, my yeah. Yeah, see that's yeah. that's mountain 
right style. Yeah. I have I, my back brake is my right. Hand. Which is motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle yeah. style. I like. Which I like better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, me too. Switch everything up. Right me too. Here, yeah, and, and, oh, that's true. And that's back brake too. You gotta pay. That's true. And if I use the foot brake, oh, you've it, got a foot brake. It regens into my battery. Really? So every eight minutes of downhill travel is one percent battery. You've got a foot brake regen. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so How'd you do that? You did it yourself? They make yeah, parts for it, and uh, and I I put it on. So a company called NTC Designs built it. NTC Designs and, uh, back brake I just modified a little bit regen more. on a Suron. Are you serious? And then I put I put drop Jesus drop Christ. pegs because I'm tall. So this is a drop. It, it brings it down a good inch or two. Because huh. you know, I'm almost six feet, like, and people are over six feet. They want to. It's like a motorcycle. When you stand on a motorcycle, your ass is right above the seat. I like you got them. good tires on it too. Yeah, I put on 19s on the front uh, with 10 gauge spoke. This is the stock rim on this one. This is you know 12 gauge spoke, and I did put Shinko or whatever Shinko tires. Shinko, yeah. Those are a really good one. And then the front, I did the same thing. But I bought the Takayama XL rims. Those things are fucking. Beast. beast. Well, you, you have motorcycle tires. You gotta have like mm -hmm. beast up rounds, yeah. Yeah, and then I, I upgraded all the brakes. I've got two 20 millimeter Hope Tech 3 V4 brakes in the front. Wow. And then on the back, I do have the same thing for the brakes, but I left the stock caliper. That's like a 180, isn't it? In the back? No, it's a 203 millimeter. Okay, yeah, it's smaller. And then two 20 millimeter on the right. front. I have massive stopping power. I can stop and just pull a wheelie balance the whole time if I want with just the front brake. Um, what do you got going on with this? I have that custom made. Just to lift it? I wanted a rack. I don't like the little, like if you look at his bike, he's got a little, like a little fin off the back. And I carry extra batteries with me so I can hmm. do 100 miles, no problem. Oh, you just shove it in there? Yeah, no, I put it on top. Oh, you put it on top? I can put it on here. I have okay. um, um, like range extenders, you know, that like the slide in here. Oh, and then okay. you can just hide it underneath. And this is my mud guard, so it flaps around a little bit, whatever. You got one hell of a custom Sura, man. Everything That's really cool. badass. I just want it to be the way I want it to be. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I put I put a, nut, um, a light on it. I have a control on and off. I don't want standards are stock 24 seven running all the time. Never, uh, never lets you turn off the light. So 3000 aluminums. That's pretty cool. Run right off the battery. And then, yeah, I just. Uh, that's a Suron seat or not? No, that's a custom. Uh, leather Renazco racing seat hmm. they do the custom seats for like motorcycle companies and other kinds so they made that one for me it's very comfy i like it i wanted yeah it oh, is i wanted uh it's more I, comfortable I than the stocks are on seat that's for sure i want to sway uh, my ass is like it just just used to ride with fucking all those years of yeah. slapping yeah. it yeah yeah 